All right, here is the model number right here. And let's go over here and take a look. So the two screws, you can see one screws right there. And the other one is that other green one right here. Just want to show you where they're located at. And you kind of see how I put it back on track. But that's what it does, it jumps off. Barely connected. Okay, you see how it barely fits in there? When you get up there, you can see that that cam arm is barely in there. You see, it does not extend up past it. It's barely catching it. It's barely catching it. So what happened is it's slipping up and it's moving off of it. See how much flex it has? It's moving off of it. And that's causing it to slip off that arm. See, it's barely caught in that arm. And when it's in the other position, which is right here, it's fine. And so you just gotta, what you gotta do is put it back in there, put your, put your actuator back, okay? So what you gotta do to remove your actuator is you gotta take that screw out and you gotta take the screw out that's right there, right here. And then you can put the actuator arm back on, you know, place it back in there correctly. And that's what's wrong with it. And that's why it doesn't wash is because, wash is because of the fact of that actuator arm slips off the cam. Show you guys the model number of the unit.